Space is daunting, terrifying, and an overwhelmingly vast place where astronauts are supposed to be alone. So it's safe to say that the chances of seeing someone or something that they're not expecting is close to zero. But how are they supposed to react when they do? Welcome to Phagnomenal. We'll be going through 10 of the creepiest and most disturbing space stories that are guaranteed to give you nightmares. Retired NASA astronaut Dr. Story Musgrave accomplished a lot in his career as a spaceman. Only the second astronaut to fly on six space flights, Dr. Musgrove is also the most formally educated astronaut with six academic degrees. He is also the only astronaut to fly aboard all five space shuttles. Naturally, with so much experience and qualification, Dr. Musgrave's word carries a lot of weight and credibility. So, it would be difficult to pass his claim about seeing an eight-foot-long white snake floating through space as a lie. It's not hard to imagine that this could have been a hose detached from the spacecraft, but Musgrave remains adamant. He claims he observed the six to eight-foot-long eel or serpent-like creature on not one, but two of his space flights. During multiple interviews, Dr. Musgrove has insisted that alien life is out there, and he has observed it. Before we tell you this story, we would like to remind you there is no sound in space, only a vacuum. Unlike light, sound waves cannot pass through a vacuum, so you cannot hear anything in space. This is why astronaut suits have special communication gear built inside them, so that they can converse with each other and mission control on Earth. Astronaut Yang Liwei became the first astronaut to be sent into space by the Chinese program in 2003. He was sitting in his space shuttle when he reportedly heard a knock. According to Liwei, it sounded like somebody hammering an iron bucket with a mallet made of wood. As sound cannot travel in space, Liwei could not discern if the knocking was inside the shuttle or outside. Anxious, Liwei looked out the porthole, but he didn't see anything that could explain the mysterious knocking. After returning to Earth, Liwei tried to explain the knocking to experts, but he failed to recreate the exact sound he heard in space. The story becomes eerier because many other Chinese astronauts claim to hear similar sounds on their space trips during 2005 and 2008. It's been over half a century since astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walked the first steps on the moon for the entire world to see. Yet, there is no lack of conspiracy theories challenging their accomplishment. But more interestingly, there is a conspiracy theory about the moon being an alien base for keeping watch on humans. According to this theory, during the Apollo 11 mission in 1969, astronaut Armstrong made a bolder statement than one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The theory claims that when Apollo 11 reached the surface of the moon, Neil Armstrong expressed astonishment at finding two unknown spacecrafts already present on the moon. Armstrong further described these UFOs as being huge and lined up on the far side of the crater's edge, observing Earth. The theory originated from NASA's claim about losing transmission from Apollo 11 for roughly two minutes. Did Neil Armstrong really see aliens during that time? We've already discussed how sound needs a medium to travel, and thus it cannot be heard in the vacuum of space. Yet astronauts have returned to Earth with fascinating tales of hearing odd noises while in space. During the Apollo 10 mission, which was a test run for sending the first men to the moon, astronauts were facing a unique challenge. They were carrying various equipment with them, which was being tested to withstand space as they were deemed essential for the moon landing. Clearly, the stakes were high for astronauts on this mission, as their findings would determine the fate of the upcoming Apollo 11 mission. While circling the moon, the astronauts on the vessel, Stafford, Young, and Cernan, heard a certain whistling sort of music. The music lasted for almost an hour and creeped the living daylights out of the astronauts. Cernan was particularly spooked and described the sound as a sort of otherworldly music. On returning to Earth, the astronauts struggled for a while on whether or not to tell NASA and the rest of the world about what they experienced. Later, astronaut Michael Collins, who was also part of the Apollo 11 mission with Aldrin and Armstrong, revealed hearing similar music while on the moon's surface. An engineer from the U.S. Space Agency said the noises likely came from interference caused by radios within the lunar and the command modules. However, Al Wharton, an astronaut on Apollo 15, 
disputed the explanation. NASA astronaut Alan Bean was the fourth man to walk on the moon's surface. He got the opportunity to do so back in 1969 while piloting Apollo 12. During his walk on the moon, Bean claimed that he saw something shiny off in the distance. He described the object in the shape of a leather shoe. It's hard to contemplate what exactly Bean saw, and unfortunately there's not much of an explanation. With Bean's death, it seems the spooky shine on the moon will remain a mystery forever. If somebody says UFO, you would imagine a circular, disc-shaped object in the dark night sky. But Gemini 4 space mission astronauts Ed White and James McDivitt would describe the UFOs they saw quite differently. On their second day of the mission in space, James McDivitt noticed something outside the spacecraft that he could not identify. The shuttle was in a drifting flight and Ed White was asleep when McDivitt observed this unidentified object rotating in the distance. McDivitt grabbed his camera and took some pictures of this object, which looked like a beer can with a smooth pencil-like wing sticking out. However, unfortunately, the snaps he took were rushed and came out unfocused and poorly exposed. McDivitt blamed the sunlight glare for losing the object. As the sun shone on the window, he said, I could no longer see out and the thing just disappeared. Astronaut Gordon Cooper flew Mercury 9 and Gemini 5 and was the youngest of the seven original astronauts in Project Mercury, the first human space program of the United States. Cooper learned to fly as a child, served in World War II, and qualified to be a test pilot in 1956. Thus, Cooper spent a considerable amount of time in the sky and experienced a lot quite early in his life, so much so that you can even add an extraterrestrial encounter to the list. During his time in the Air Force, Cooper claimed to come across an entire fleet of UFOs. Now, this could sound like a baseless claim, but in 1963, again, Cooper came across a similar flying object to what he saw 10 years prior. It flew towards him in the sky and was fascinatingly picked up by his plane's radar. It makes you wonder why these UFOs were so interested in Cooper. In 1991, decorated Russian cosmonaut Musa Manarov served as a flight engineer on Soyuz TM-4. During this mission, Manarov came across something unusual after catching it on film unintentionally. The shiny object captured in the film was swiveling and making its way across space. The object was cylindrical, and Manarov's first hunch was that a part of the shuttle came off, but the rotation and speed of the object would raise doubts in Manarov's mind forever. It may sound cruel, but many countries including the USSR and USA first sent a variety of animals to space as test subjects before daring to send manned shuttles up there. Lake of the Dog, Miss Baker the Squirrel Monkey, and Ham the Chimp, to name a few. Some of them made it back safely to Earth, while for others, a slight error in calculations meant space became their pet cemetery. Astronauts who go on suborbital trips can still sometimes observe the corpses of these martyrs of human advancement. And while this is sad, coming across the floating corpses of these innocent animals can be a freakishly haunting experience for astronauts. American astronaut Leroy Chow was the commander of the International Space Station in 2005. During his exploration, Chow, along with his crew, claimed to observe a strange set of lights in space. According to Chow, the formation resembled an upside-down V. With his heart leaping into his mouth due to the excitement caused by the discovery, Chow kept his eye on the strange object emitting lights until it vanished out of his sight. Today, Chow claims he is 100% convinced he was visited by aliens. Moreover, he also doesn't discount the possibility of the UFO he witnessed being from a parallel dimension. Do you have a spine-tingling tale you'd like to share? Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more creepy videos like this. And as always, thanks for watching Phagnominal.